There is no easing in to the new hands-free law. From now on, if you're caught with the phone in your hand while behind the wheel, expect to see this. Today, we followed GSP trooper Corey Crosscut on his patrol. Go ahead and pull into the gas station. And it didn't take us long to find someone breaking the new law. I saw your phone in your hand, in your right hand, so that is going to be a violation of the law. If you hear an officer say that, you're probably in for a ticket and a $50 fine. If it's not your first offense, the fine goes up from there. But since the law just went into effect today, Trooper Crosscut had a little mercy. Provided everything checks out, I'll give you a warning today. Make sure you understand the law, okay? Yes, sir. And instead, just educated her on what to do from now on. You can use that Bluetooth, that's fine, especially since it's tied into your vehicle. But you just can't have that phone in your hand. you got to have your hands free. Less than 30 minutes later... We found another driver with a cell phone in her hand. Ms. Martin, the reason why I stopped you is you are in violation of the Georgia hands-free law. She told the officer she was using it for GPS. He explained that's okay as long as you have one of these. The problem is you still have to have it supported. So you can use your GPS, but you still have to have a mount for the phone. To emphasize what's allowed and what's not, we did our interview with Trooper Crosscut the hands-free way. I used my Bluetooth headphones, even though I was in the passenger seat, and he used speakerphone. 49, Hello? Eight, signal eight. <laughs> that worked until it started raining and completely drowned me out. Then he switched to earbuds. I only have one earbud in. And that's important that you only have one of the buds in? That is correct. You've got to be able to hear what's going on around you. And Do you think it's going to be hard for people to start complying with this immediately? I think there's definitely going to be a time of adjustment where people are going to have to break those bad, those bad habits. We're all for keeping people safe, and we definitely think it's going to do that. In Gwinnett County, Christy Etheridge, 11 Alive News. All right, Christy, thanks.